Hello, today we are going to be reacting to another uh, video. Yeah, because I finally got space on the phone. Yeah. Can I see a receipt? No problem, but you just saw me purchase this. Still need to see a receipt. He paid for it, so he has a receipt. Okay. There you go. Now right, you get to go. Hello. Here's my receipt. Oh, no, it's fine. So she let the woman go, but not the man? Like, they're the same type of person. Are you sure? But... Yeah, it's no problem. You have a nice day. Okay. Thanks. So, you were saying... Oh, sorry. Did you see the way that security guard treated that guy as opposed to the way he treated us? Uh, no. What happened? Okay, did she not hear them talking to the man like that? Did she not? Because she was on her phone. That's weird. Well, he asked to see that guy's receipt, and he didn't ask to see ours. I just feel bad that some people have to go through a hard time just based on the color of their skin. I don't know about that. Everyone goes through a hard time in one way or another. God knows I've been through my fair share of struggles. But I feel like it's less for white people. I'm not saying everyone's life isn't hard. I'm just saying... My skin tone isn't one of the reasons my life is harder. I've seen it firsthand. You have? Mm-hmm. You see those two kids over there? I see, I get it. Those are both my boys. Gregory's my biological son, and Anthony is my husband's from his first marriage. And even though those boys have grown up in the same house, They've had completely different life experiences. You see, when my son Greg walks through our neighborhood, nobody minds and all of the neighbors say hello to him. But when my son Anthony walks through our neighborhood, people cross the street when they see him, clutching their purses. So they think the boy is a stealer or criminal. He's just a boy. As if he was a threat. And when my son Greg goes into a store, he's able to shop freely without having to worry about anyone thinking that he's suspicious. But when my son Anthony goes into a store, he gets looked at as if he's going to steal something and gets treated like a criminal. Fun fact, I never had mustard before. So you see... As the mom of boys with two different skin tones, I've seen firsthand that people do really get treated differently based on the color of their skin. Wow. Um, to be honest, that's something I've never experienced before. Most whites don't experience it. Maybe if I saw it with my own eyes, I'd understand it better. Mom, help! Oh my God, Anthony! Is police searching him? No. Stop. Officer, what's going on? Ma'am, do you know this boy? Yes, he's my son. Your son? We got a complaint. Someone has stole money. In my opinion, I don't think he would steal. I don't think so. He from a store nearby, so I have to search him. He didn't steal anything. He's been here the entire time. I have to search him anyway. Gonna... So he's not been in the shop the whole time and they're still going to search him? What? Got any drugs on you? Or money, huh? No, I don't. He doesn't have anything. Leave him alone. Connors, you got the guy. Come on, let's go. Oh, I didn't do anything. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Have a nice day. Anthony, baby, are you okay? I'm fine, whatever. I was so scared. I tried to tell the cop that Anthony didn't steal anything, but he didn't listen. 
I can't believe what I just saw. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It sucks, but I'm used to it. I'm so sorry. No one should ever have to be used to that. It's so sad that people really do treat you differently just because of the color of your skin. Wow. Can we just appreciate it? Hi guys. Want more fun? Check the description. And after that, make sure to subscribe. Bye.